Hello guys, in this video I will do a small experiment and I will be comparing sculpting performance in Blender 4.2 and Blender 4.3 and the idea to make this video gave me one of the subscribers of channel so thank you so how will I do it? I will take this model's head and I will be simply remeshing it and then try to sculpting it and see how smooth sculpting is going in Blender this is my model by the way very beautiful you can see I will tell you about this model in the end of the video, so stay tuned. <laughs> and these experiment results can be different depending on different computer specs. Like my computer specs is having these values. So I'm in Blender 4.2 and I have selected head, this object. You can see this is the body and this is head and I will be remeshing it. I will start with remeshing the head with the voxel size values 0 0.01 and let's see. So it did it in no time and it's even less than it was so that is no problem for Blender 4.2. Let's go higher. 0 0.005 remesh and it also did it in no time so i will go higher to 002 and remesh and it took around eight seconds next i will go for 001 and remesh and it is done it took 53 seconds and let's try to scoop something on it and see how it will be lagging will it be lagging or not of course it will and also my recording software OBS is working in the back but it's working pretty good also let's see how it will switch between sculpting and object modes because it also affecting so I pressed and it's immediately thinking yeah it's good it's good it's working and still we can work with even 14, 14 million polygons, which is more than enough to make this kind of scoops. So I'm more than sure that it will probably freeze if I will go higher, but I will try it for the sake of experiment. I will go triple zero nine. Okay, triple zero nine. Okay, it took one minute fifty one seconds and it's over 18 million polygons so let's try and check i'm still able to scoop and not bad it's not lagging bad so i will go and do another attempt and i will make triple zero seven and remesh and blender made it more than 29 million polygons wow and it's three minutes 53 seconds amazing should i make a last attempt here uh, so let's go and make it triple zero five i'm not sure if it will be able to make it but we will try but first let's try how it will sculpt on this it's... yes still we can do something of course i will i would never sculpt with this amount of polygons in blender with this machine and if i will do fast strokes like this yeah you see it's lagging but okay let's go and try the last attempt and i'm not going to go to the object mode because it will <laughs> almost 100 percent it will crash but let's let's try to go further higher to triple zero five and it crashed right now i'm in blender 4.3 and we will do exactly same values here and see how it will perform i'm in a scoop mode right now and the head is checked and i will start with 002 and it made it very fast it took five seconds let's now check 001 and it took 41 seconds and in blender 4.2 it took 53 seconds which is amazing 
almost 50 million polygons. 0009. And it took 1 minute 31 seconds. Very good. Because Blender 4.2 took 1 minute 51 seconds. 20 seconds difference. Now let's go and see the results for 0007 in Blender 4.3 and Vimesh. And it did it in 2 minutes 58 seconds. 29 million, almost 30 million polygons. I will take the same draw sharp brush. Yeah, it's amazing. It can do even fast strokes and it's not lagging that much. A little bit, a little bit performance, but it's still working very good, I must say. You can see how fast it is in 29 and 900,000 polygons. And I will even try right now to switch to the object mode. <laughs> Sometimes it crashes. I mean Blender 4.2 crashes, but maybe it will not. And it did it. And it's amazing. And let's try edit mode. Edit mode is very bad for this kind of heavy stuff. No, unfortunately it wasn't able to make it. It crashed on my machine, which is pity. So now let's go and try the last step, triple zero five, and I think it will be more than 40 million polygons. Let's try and check it, will it handle it or not, remesh. And it made it, it made it in 8 minutes and 50 seconds, almost 10 minutes, but check how much it is, 58 million polygons. And I will not going to switch to object mode, but I will try to sculpt. I never gone that far in the poly count. And it can switch. Wow. Look, it's doing something. And this amount of polygons uh, is only one on one object. You can see that I have much more here like bikini bottom, top, body, brows, eyes and all that stuff. So overall it's more than 60 million polygons here in this model. Okay, I will try to switch to the object mode and see. A few moments later. And I think it did it. So let's try to yeah, the model is heavily lagging, but it's rotating and moving. <laughs> I can move and rotate it. And overall poly count is 59 and 700. 59 millions and 788,000 polygons. And a little bit more than that. And now I will make a small bonus. If you watched my previous video, you probably have seen that I told that clay strips brush is performing differently in Blender 4.3. And that's not true. That was only the thing in this button. So I told that the brush size is wider in Blender 4.3. So if you just check this button, it's called size pressure, check it on and it will work exactly like in Blender 4.2. So the thing was just that it wasn't enabled in the default settings in Blender 4.3. All the brushes that were in Blender 4.2, they work exactly the same as in Blender 4.3. The only thing, they changed the names and the UI and added new brush. So if you want to watch that video, go and check it. So what are my thoughts about Blender 4.3? First, they definitely improved performance and now sculpting in Blender 4.3 is significantly faster and it's not crashing that often as the previous version, at least on my PC. And if you want, you can also try to do this experiment on your own machines and and uh, drop me a comments how it goes. Also, they added new brushes, of course, some new paint brush, so now it will be much more comfortable to poly paint in Blender. Yeah, Blender is 
developing and developing significantly its sculpting tools. We can do perfect things in Blender as well if you cannot afford ZBrush. Like I did this sculpt in Blender, it was only around 2 million polygons when I did it and it's more than enough. But Blender is going further and that means that we will be able to make something more complex on the slower machines, which is amazing. So yeah, Blender team is doing really good and they are developing their sculpting tools as well. And now a couple of words about this model. Like I said, I did it in Blender as a 3D reference model and you can get it if you want. The link will be in the description. And what you can do with it, you can check, you can bring out the hairs to see like the back and everything like that you can and also you can even remove 